Welcome to the Sticky Art Channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin, and in this video, I'm going to take one of my traditional pieces of art and turn it into a digital piece of art using the app Procreate and some of the updates from the Procreate 5X update. It's actually a pretty big update to Procreate when they did the 5X update. One of the coolest effects that I've found so far is the glitch mode or glitch effect. So it's not only just a filter, but you actually have about five different ways to customize the glitch effect. So the first thing you want to do once you have a picture loaded up that you want to glitch out, you're going to go into your adjustments and on the left hand side, almost at the bottom is glitch mode. And I select the layer and you can actually do this at the layer level. You can also do the glitch mode with just your pencil tip. I do prefer the layer mode. I'm going to go ahead and play around with the artifact. This gives you those little blocks, kind of little digital pixels and pixelation. It starts you in the right direction for the digital effect. Next up is going to be the wave, which moves some of the parts of the screen over left and right and also gives that wavy effect. Then the third tool in here is going to be the signal. If you zoom all the way in, it gives you those lines. If you zoom out, it's going to just pull parts and segments of the actual image around and move them around. So you kind of have displaced areas. Another really cool effect. And with all these, you really just want to play around with all the different layers. The fourth tool that you have is Diverge. To show off the Diverge tool, it's a little bit easier to see on a actual layer. So I'm going to do this on a blue ball. We've got the Diverge. The move red over, we've got the green, we've got the blue. So you can see the different colors that are in this. For the most part, it's just blue and green. And it is pulling them apart. If there was more red in there, it would pull it apart as well. And then the other part about the glitch mode that I like is the chromatic aberration, which you're able to pull the actual layers and move them left and right. I'm going to do this to the full layer, go over to displace on chromatic aberration, and you can take the pencil left and right and you can move it as much as you want. I do find with this, if you're trying to go with the glitch, true glitch effect, to just move it over enough so that they are offset, yet they're still part of each other. And it gives you a really cool kind of trippy look definitely makes your mind work over time, kind of hurts your eyes. So let's switch that back. And I'm going to get into turning this traditional piece into a digital piece. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to turn down the opacity. And to turn down the opacity now, it actually is going to be on the layer level. So pick your layer and hit the end button and then opacity. And I'm going to turn it down to around 25 to 35%. I found that gives me enough so I can actually just see the lines. Once I have all of my lines in place, came back with some color. I really like the digital coloring just because you're able to kind of play around with hues and shades. So for the background, I want to make a resemblance of the moon, but I did cut out some parts of the actual moon and I did throw a little bit of a texture on there. Using some of the digital effects, I also glitched everything out. I also added my name on there. I wanted to make it nice and drippy. So after making some bubble letters, I just came back with some green and added some green drip. So what I really like about the digital is that I can zoom in and really get some cool details on there that I was not able to get on the traditional piece. As you can see, everything is a few colors and I did throw some shading in. I think I could do a little bit more on the shading and play around with the line work a little bit more just to give it a little bit cleaner look. But overall, I really like the clean look of the digital. And looking a little bit closer at the original piece, one of the things I really like about traditional is that you actually get the texture of the paper. Like that, you can see all the different lines. It has that hand-drawn look. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like the traditional piece best or if you like the redone digital piece more or if there's any other changes you'd like to see done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I release my newest videos. I want to do a shout out to Cecil's World for finding the hidden turtle in my It Among Us Pennywise animation. Great job and good eye for finding the turtle in the space scene. And last but definitely not least, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for supporting the channel. The channel is about to hit 10,000 subscribers. 
I can't believe that this is about to happen. We're less than 300 away from 10K. So thank you everyone for all the support. Everyone who's watched the video, shared, liked, done anything to help support the channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, peace.